Libra, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is a energy reading, so it's not a horoscope. Um, I use oracle cards and I do a full spread of oracle cards here, which means it doesn't matter if you're Libra, sun, moon, rising, or wherever Libra influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next week or so, right? I don't put dates anymore on them because I was realizing they don't matter to anybody. So yay, uh, but I do make a new video every single week. So if you want them hot off the press, please do subscribe to my channel, help the channel grow and ring that bell so that you know right when I upload the content. Okay, let's get into this energy reading. There's always an extended reading every single week, like clockwork, there's an extended reading. It expands on this energy reading. It's a full tarot card reading, so it articulates it, goes in deeper, and um, basically personalizes it a bit. And it always includes a romance reading at the end as well. So. That link is in the description box below and in the comment section. So, you know, Libra. Well, you've been struggling, haven't you? Um, 55. Change is coming, but it's slow to come. Um, there is a sense of, is this poison or is this medicine? Uh, and an ambiguity here. An ambiguity that happens sometimes, especially with Librans, because we're always trying to put, we, I say we because I'm a Libra rising, always trying to put things into balance, always trying to make sense out of both sides. The issue with that is sometimes it muddies everything. It makes everything not clear. There's a need to decide sometimes, but right now that's not where you're at. Where you're at is a sense of almost stuck in between, stuck in this in this perpetual state of in between. And I think there's a bit of suffering in it for you because you don't like it, it's not comfortable. You don't know what's good and what's bad. A sense of, well, I, a sense of your own inability to, to make a decision really getting to you, really starting, really starting to get on your nerves. Um, and I don't think it's just in terms of you or personal issues, I think it's the world at large. I think you're feeling it big time, especially as Libras who want to go and run and fix everything and make everybody agree and see the same sides and balance things out. And right now it's almost like you feel muted. You feel, you feel muddied. You feel a sense of, but I, 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 I don't know. I don't know how to feel. The whole world is stuck in limbo, it feels like. And it's an interesting sensation for you because as much as you want balance, you don't want limbo because limbo and balance are two totally different things, right? Balance is harmony. It's when the orchestra's all playing in tune, but all the notes are there and everybody's playing together and everybody's sitting shoulder to shoulder, blowing their horns and playing their violins and everybody's listening to each other and playing when they're supposed to. That's harmony when all these different kinds of voices and sounds are raised in, in raised together and, and vibrating high and low and everything in between. And that's beauty and perfection. But simultaneously, uh, limbo is not that. Limbo is stuck. Limbo is indecision. Limbo is a perpetual state of confusion, if you will, that lowest layer of Dante's Inferno where both fire and ice exist together because it's perpetual, constant indecision. And that's sort of what we're struggling with right now. It could be in a personal life, a personal decision, could be in your romantic life, could be in your... Um, um, it could be in your business life, your work life, waiting for, uh, you know, employers to get back to you or recruiters to respond. It's not you, Libra. It's not you. It's just that it affects you especially because you so desperately want to make everything right, make everything make sense and make everybody be on the same page again and make your life be on the same page again and actually feel good about the decisions that are being made, but you don't. You don't feel good about it. Um, we have two cards pop out as I was shuffling. Trust and divine detours. Um, this is the energy of uh, 16, six plus one is seven. So what are you, it's creation, it's work. It's you wanna take action. I think that you want to be the one that fears off course. You want to, it's almost like you're thinking of throwing your perpetual scale off balance just to feel something, feel anything. 
because you're tired of this feeling of nothing. Um, oh, there is always enough. Too much, um, too much delusion, too much illusion, too much. There's the only thing that there's enough of seems to be dreams, seems to be uh, what you're thinking or what you can imagine in your head. But I want you to start having faith in that because now is the time to dream and now is the time to architect a new world from dreams. So trust in those dreams and don't sort of. Um, um, and, and don't, I think, under, uh, underestimate the power that they can have. Simultaneously, there's a message here to get away from dreaming, get, a, get wake up, get out of the dream world, get out of that Piscean energy of losing yourself in fantasy world because the real world doesn't make sense. The real world can make sense again. It will make sense again if we can take what we have in our heads and we can architect some blueprints or plans for um, the, the world that we want. Because that right now, remember, the color of mud is mud. It's it's all like it's 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 a like a blank canvas. What are you going to lay on it? What are you going to build on it? What are you going to draw on it? Um, so this is a decision, and I think maybe it's 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 hard for you to make a choice right now. It's almost like you're stuck. You're just stuck. Um, I'm trying to figure out what will get you unstuck. Why? Why are you so stuck? You don't want to offend any sign. Bring a gentle touch. Uh, this is an energy of 1 plus 8. 18 is 9. Coming to a head. Virgo energy. Love. This is love. And I think that love, like I said, is that connectivity. It's that sense of a complete understanding and connection. It's not a disassociation or um, uh, escapism. That's not what it is. Love is a truth and a belief and a way. And if, if anything, you can connect to that way that is love because you are ruled by Venus after all, Libra. So what is your love? Are you in love? Are you dreaming? Are you fantasizing? Who are you fantasizing about? What is this person and what can you do to connect with them? Can you connect with them psychically? Can you connect with them through dreams? And maybe, just maybe, that is not enough. There has to be something else that comes. You had an interesting reading in your romantic, ooh, you had it, ooh, you had an interesting reading in your romantic tarot too, I'll attach that above. Check that out, it's on YouTube, there's also an extended video of that too, but you had a really interesting reading and everything is time stamped, so I just want you to know, um, you should probably go watch that. Um, two cards popped out, they keep falling on the ground, that's why I disappear, I apologize. Life is speeding up. I said, ooh, because uh, there's love here, right? There's love, there's romance, there's youthfulness, there's sweetness, there's innocence, there's newness, but there's also, it's picking up. It's, 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 it's almost like getting into its teenage years, into its rebellious years, but things are starting to come together and take motion. It doesn't need as much care. It wants to be daredevil. It's almost like you literally, have you ever seen the movie Crash? You want to be a daredevil. You want to make stupid decisions. You're feeling like so crazed that you want to just be impulsive and get out there. This is also the energy of Virgo and Gemini two communications planets, right? They're Mercury, they're ruled by Mercury and they're masters of communication always through music. So Virgo is more harmony and Gemini is more listening very carefully to, to singular points of view. So it's really interesting. It's like you have the harmony, harmony and you have the, the ear. There's a sense of um, listen and you'll understand. Maybe listen with your heart. <laughs> Remember that scene from po Pocahontas? Listen with your heart and you will understand. It's the heart space that's going to tell you. It's not the head space. This is Gemini energy though. This is your central energy. I don't know if you're dealing with a Gemini, but there is a sense of connectivity starting to happen and maybe unexpected connectivity. And maybe it is fleeting connectivity, but it doesn't matter, Libra. What matters is that it, it charges you, it fuels you, and it gets you step by step. It's, it, it gets you going again. So be fearless and bold. Take a chance. Be risque. Be sexy. You know, put on your diva. Libra. Aries energy asks you to have confidence and have faith in yourself and just get out, get yourself out. There's also, I'm sorry, I have to say this, really intense sexual energy coming off of this card. And I don't say that unless I have to say it, but Aries is ruled by Mars. And Mars is um, basically your 
um, Mars and Venus, right? <laughs> That's that celestial, eternal, divine counterparts, right? And this is this is that energy for you. It's your counterbalance. It's your it's your it's your other. It's your opposite. Uh, Aries rules the first house and you rule the seventh. So it is literally your divine counterpart in the sky. It's ruled by Mars. You're ruled by Venus. This is a beautiful energy um, for you, but there is a sensuality here. And I'm telling you, it may be fleeting, but it's what you need. You're going to jump on this bandwagon, maybe get lost in a divergence or a detour, which is like a living fantasy, some sort of fling that you could be taking or thinking of taking, or go ahead. What I'm saying is go for it because this is the time. This is the time that you need it. Uh, I, I would not be surprised if a lot of hooking up starts to happen here. Um, if you're with somebody, if you're in a relationship, I, I said this, I, I, somebody said this on my channel. There's going to be a lot of Scorpios conceived. Scorpios and Sagittarius is between March and April. There's going to be a lot of them being conceived because what else do we have to do inside, right? Um, this is a sense of just finding something to fuel your fire right now. Um, get the world going. Get the world churning again. It seems like there's not a lot of options. That's the problem. Uh, this is Taurus energy. Uh, it's stuck. Once again, energy of stuck. You don't have the resources. Resources are running slim, which means your chance, your choices and your options can run slim. So you may be settling as well, settling for somebody below what you would normally settle for, or settling for a circumstance or a situation that's less than, that's less than perfect just to have something right now. Slow and steady wins the race is also upside down. What this is like king of cups upside down to be honest with you this is kind of manipulative drained energy energy drained um um sort of uh it, the energy of um like king of cups in reverse uh somebody who could be intentionally draining you or manipulating you or something that could just uh like it could be even illness or sickness a sense of uh feeling like there isn't enough feeling like there's too much feeling like there's um feeling like there's too much sucking and not enough giving, you know, that's the kind of energy feeling drained, feeling drained, feeling like you're running, running on a treadmill. So you're exhausted, but you're not getting anywhere. But that's what we said, right? Limbo. And you're just trying to, it's almost like you're trying to like turn on the little television on that treadmill to just get yourself distracted right now, because it's so boring to be here. It's so boring to be in this repetitive state. I get it, Libra. I get it. I get that this repetitive state would get to you the most, which may surprise people, but you just want out so bad. You want something different, something so you want to feel something different. You want to try something different. You would be getting experimental right now. And you know what? In some weird way, I think this is good for you. I think that making mistakes would be really good for you right now. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm just going to say it out loud. This is the energy of take time out, brown bear. You're protected. Somebody is holding you up. Somebody has got your back. This is spirit, divine intervention. This is maybe it's a part of you. This is very mother energy too, like mama bear energy. A sense of maybe wanting to protect your family, take care of who you love first and foremost, prioritizing them. But also Libra, there's a sense of just being protected, being divinely guided, protected so that you are free to make mistakes without too much of a fallout. Time for a beginner mind is here as well as a grounding energy. Um, or, or, or you're, see, because this is nine energy too. You're tired of being protective. You're tired of all the defensiveness. You're tired of all the draconianism. You're tired of all the, the, the strict laws. This is, uh, this is sort of tethering you, but in a way that's less rooting you and more like chaining you down. Time for a beginner mind. This is Aquarius energy. Eight plus four is 12. 12 adds up to three. Divine intervention, divine thoughts. You're ready. You're defensive. You want to be seen. You walk into that room with your spikes out. Why? Because you're ready to take people down. Oh, maybe you're speaking up. Use your mind wisely. This is the energy of 11. 7 plus 4 equals 11. Enlightenment. Uh, use your mind wisely. Figure out, like, 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 it's, it's almost like you don't believe what others have to say. That's what I'm sensing. That you can sense something is up and you're not, you're not really, you're not really wanting to tolerate all the BS. Set healthy boundaries. Armadillo. Um, 
being weighed down by all the boundaries that are being set for you, by all the walls around you, feeling really bogged down and weighed down by this overwhelming sense of protection that has been sort of forced on you. It's almost like it's, it's, it's too heavy. There's too much of a heaviness here and you just really want to make, break free. Because remember, this is Cancerian energy, but it's the Cancerian energy that's more um, stuck in our shells. It's almost like being, being, um, being, um, being landlocked kind of energy. Like it, it's not by your choice. Um, there is a sense of almost like this bristly spontaneity, this impulsivity that's starting to stir inside of you. That's going to actually spring from you and rip out of this muddy area that you, that you are technique, that you are currently in. Um, Libra, this energy is your grounding energy. So I do feel like it's coming from your base chakra. It's coming from deep, deep down, um, underneath your gut. It's just, it's going to rise out of you and almost burst out of you. And it's also very, like I said, very sensual, especially with Mars energy here. There's this sensuality. I would not be surprised if you are especially feeling quite aroused do I you know like I don't know if they flag me for that but but I I would not be surprised if you're feeling a little bit more horny than usual Libra I'm just saying very very amorous like wanting but that's the pull of the Kundalini energy it's not necessarily explicitly sexual energy but that is one of the quickest ways and unfortunately too too easy way to access it immediately so that's that rapture inside of you that wants to spring out like that coiled snake this is your crowning energy this kundalini energy but it's sideways it's almost like it wants to get out but it's bumping against the wrong way it can't figure out like the coil is pointed the wrong way instead of being able to spring up it's still like smacking around against the walls inside of you which is causing you a great deal of chaos internally so hold on i'm going to flip the camera angle to review if you want to review if you don't the extended is below please hop on over there now hold on and here we go central to your energy so this is the way it came out this cockeyed way of it sort of bouncing around inside of you not knowing which way to go but getting more and more frustrated by the second crowning your energy really desperate for a change and wanting to explode maybe even going to be trying something spontaneous and a little bit irresponsible because you don't have anything else it's almost like stuck a resource drained feeling emptied, maybe even feeling manipulated. This is a sense that there could be somebody manipulating you out of your resources. So you have all this fire inside of you, but simultaneously it's being used for somebody else's good, but not somebody else's good that you're choosing to give it to. It's like it's being, like I said, drained from you. And there's a sense of extreme defensiveness here, like really wanting to rip into somebody, but also protect yourself and simultaneously like nail them to the wall. Meanwhile, it's like you feel like you're losing your mind you're trying to you're trying there's that one part of you like this is this is the impossible happening so to me this is um the energy of four plus seven so it's 11 being awakened and making a realization that maybe other people don't realize it's almost like all of this frustration is ripping your brain open from the inside out to basically enlighten you and show you exactly what's happening and what's going on or a different way to be and a different way to handle yourself and live. It's like whatever changes happen to you now, I can guarantee you these are going to be so alchemical, Libra, that you're not changing back. So let's go over to this extended reading um, for Libra energy. I can't wait to get into it for you guys. Um, and like I said, that also includes that romance reading. I'll see you guys over there. The link is below. I'll see you guys over there.